It's built like that. Online photo editor. So we come to a page like this. You need flash player. So I think most people have that already. So you go allow that to run. And you'll come into a page like this. Create new image. So for the thumbnail of YouTube, it's 1280 for the width and 720 for the height. You can have it transparent or not. I prefer to have it transparent because it's just easier to see. It doesn't matter which one you use. So we've done that. Press OK. You can zoom out by using the mouse cursor thing on the mouse. So because this is about Fortnite, get yourself a background. Just search up Fortnite background. And you get loads of choices. So I like the look of this one. But you can choose whatever you want. You can choose a background that's l like your video. That's going to say much about your video. So what you want to do is save image as. Go to the folder. So mine's YouTube. And just go name it whatever. So this has got trees in it. So I'm just going to go trees. Something you'll remember quickly. Because you're going to do it as soon as possible. Then go back onto Pixar. Press layer. Open image as layer. Go back to the file and type in what it's called. So this was trees. Open. So now I'll come to this. It's not filling up the edges and that. So what you need to do is press edit, free transform, press hold down shift, and then move it out. You have to hold down shift, otherwise it will rotate the thing. So once you've done that, I like to have a Fortnite character in it. So, get yourself a character, any character, it could be the character you're using in the game, whatever. So it doesn't matter what person you have. To make it easier, search Fortnite character PNG, so you don't have to do any trimming or anything. So I'm just going to use this one, as it's in the jungle. Save image as again, go to YouTube. I'm just going to name it jungle. Easy to remember. Layer. Open image as. Go back to your folder. Jungle. And it should come out as a PNG. Okay. So no it doesn't. So what you want to do. Is go to the wand tool. Once you've done that. Click on the white space. Press shift. And delete at the same time. And it will clear that. Do the same for every little white spot you see. Just like that. Then click off and you're done. So, to move the character, you need to press edit, free transform, and move it like this. One sec. Go one tool again. It's because it wasn't in the thing. I think there's going to be more, so... Okay, no, it's not. Right, now we've got this. Press edit again. Free transform. That's because I just cropped it. Free transform. And move the person wherever you want it to be. So I kind of like it on the side. Okay, I chose a really bad picture, but it's fine. The hair is pretty chopped off, but I just, that's just the picture I chose. Now, you need text, so you want to go to the type tool, which is here, and put, I'm just going to put text, put whatever the video is called, or whatever you want. Now, fonts, you can go to many sites, but I prefer to use the default one, because you've got loads to choose from. But the best one that I have found is in the B section. It's, let me get rid of this. Berlin Sands FB. Okay, so you want to make the size obviously big, so I'm, for this I'm just going to make it like 200, but obviously you might have more. Put it on bold, it looks more nice. Now I like to make the colour white, because you go to layer styles, 
and you've got many options you could choose to like customize it but obviously I don't have these I just have the outer glow and the inner glow I change these to black both of them make the hardness of outer 10 and the size you want to make it just a bit bigger like that and go to winner I like to make it all the way again I'm not I don't really make the difference of that so I keep it like that so your text is there but obviously you can go to other things if you don't like this text I'm gonna make that a bit more smaller actually there you go so that's that you can also add other things let's get the gliding one I did already download one, so go to layer, open images layer, go glider, again this one hasn't been edited, just go edit, free transform, make sure it's all in, and as easy as this, just get a one tool, boom, get the middle, boom, get these, boom. Shift delete, remember? Shift delete. Simple as that. Obviously, I'm just rushing this so you can make it perfection by using the lasso tool. But I'm not going to do that at the moment. So you could have this guy, maybe you could swap these around. So you could have this guy there and get this lady to stand there. That looks pretty decent. Also, remember. Go back to your layer, edit, free transform, you can make them bigger if you want. Just like that. Okay, so that's going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. And if you are new around here, please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. If you want me to make more videos like this, leave in the comments below because I think it's helpful. Me giving out tutorials so people can make their own thumbnails. Obviously this was a rush, you can make it 10 times better if you actually put effort into it. It's like this one, the text isn't even centred, let's put that there. Remember, get a good picture, don't put the head chopped off. And for the last thing, you can actually go on layer uh, styles. Again, and put the outer glow on there, change the colour, everything, hardness like that. Size, you can make that, you can make it like that if you really want to, but I don't like that. Keep it like that, you could do the the shadows, but change it all up, mix it all up if you really want to. And I'll see you guys in the next one.